is the issue with the minister, which, uh, in light of the fact that this is Irish Sign Language Recognition Week and that we have this motion in front of us, that, um, it's to do with the fact that the minister might bring it to his ca the awareness of the cabinet and colleagues that we are in breach of uh, international agreements, which uh, we have signed up to, not only the UN Convention on Disabilities, but uh, the Good Friday Agreement, of all things. We managed to breach that as well uh, when it comes to uh, people who are members of the deaf community and the fact that they are uh, not given the same level of service and the same access to government services as any other citizen is entitled to under the Good Friday Agreement, the Irish language okay. and the uh, Ulster Scot uh, were recognised as official languages as was Irish Sign Language and we agreed with the British government that all these languages would get official recognition in the north and obviously in the south. But amazingly enough, while Irish Sign Language is recognised uh, in the north of Ireland uh, and has been implemented there, the policy on the ground uh, has been put in place um, down here in the south, there is actually uh, no uh, implementation of the Good Friday Agreement 15 years on. Uh, from its signing. I'd ask the Minister maybe to bring it to the awareness of her Cabinet colleagues that um, this is a fundamental breach of international law uh, to sign up to a, uh, an, an international agreement and in good faith and then turn around and blatantly ignore its own provisions um, is a disgraceful uh, act by any government. But when you consider the effect and you know modern technology, some of which wasn't even available when the Good Friday Agreement was, was in place at the time, when you're talking about putting in place uh, interpreters uh, at the time of the Good Friday Agreement, the, the interpreter would physically have to be in the room. Now you can have online interpreters and imagine uh, how difficult it is for a member of the deaf community to go into a doctor's surgery and explain to a doctor how they're feeling or why, why uh, their sickness. Obviously, something lost in translation like that uh, has a detrimental effect on the outcome uh, of the prognosis. And